Has your pet been dealing with sensitive stomach issues, constant diarrhea, or acid reflux that just won't go away? You're not alone. And today I'm gonna to explain why so many pets are struggling with gut problems like never before. I'm also gonna share the key mistakes pet parents make and three simple natural remedies that can help restore your pet's gut health for good. And by the end of this video, you're gonna understand better what might be triggering gut issues in your pet and how you can take control naturally, helping them feel better, live longer, and avoid expensive vet visits. I'm Dr. Katie Woodley, holistic veterinarian and founder of the natural pet doctor, and I've helped hundreds of pet parents transition their pets to gut-friendly diets and healing natural remedies and have seen incredible transformations. So whether your dog or cat suffers from chronic vomiting or your cat or dog has IBD, I'm going to guide you through some proven steps to tackle these problems head on from the root cause level. So why are gut issues more common today than they were 10 or 20 years ago? First, highly processed diets. Most pet foods today are heavily processed, high in carbs, and loaded with artificial preservatives, none of which support healthy digestion. Most commercial pet foods, especially kibble, undergo extreme processing that destroys beneficial nutrients. High heat extrusion, rendering, poor quality ingredients, and additives create foods that may meet basic nutritional standards, but can actually lead to chronic gut inflammation when they're fed over time. A recent study actually showed that feeding dogs ultra-processed diets significantly increase the risk of chronic enteropathy, which is gut inflammation, later in life. In contrast, feeding minimally processed meat-based diets during early life actually showed that it can reduce the risk of chronic enteropathy by supporting better gut microbiome diversity and reducing inflammation. The absence of excessive carbohydrates, the lack of heat processing, and the lack of artificial preservatives plays a key role leading to better microbiome diversity and optimal gut health. Now, ultra-processed pet foods often contain emulsifiers, artificial flavors, and preservatives that can irritate the gut lining. Over time, this contributes to conditions like IBD or leaky gut. In comparison, raw or gently cooked diets provide natural nutrients that promote intestinal health without unnecessary fillers. We're seeing an explosion of pets being diagnosed with IBD, and many of the prescription canned foods that are being recommended contain the ingredient carrageenan, which is a known GI irritant, and it's actually used in research to create GI lining inflammation. Why would we want to feed a food that has known irritants like this when we already have a gut health issue or are trying to create optimal health? Pets do not have a dietary requirement for carbohydrates, yet many dry foods are going to contain at least 40 to 60% carbohydrates or even more. This imbalance can lead to obesity, inflammation, and microbiome disruption. This doesn't mean we should never use carbohydrates. In my free gut health masterclass, I discuss the importance of providing a food source for the beneficial microbes and healthy carbs can be a good source of fiber and prebiotics, but our pets are not made for processed heavy carb diets. So check out that free masterclass. There's a link in the description below so you can learn more about the ways on how to support your pet's diet. Now, the second problem are antibiotics and medications. Now, don't get me wrong. Antibiotics can be a life-saving tool when it comes to treating infections, but they can come with a significant downside. They don't differentiate between harmful pathogens and beneficial bacteria in the gut. And this can lead to a condition called dysbiosis. This is an imbalance in the gut microbiome that can cause long-term health issues, particularly in the digestive system. Sometimes antibiotics are necessary, but without proper gut repair, your pet may suffer long after the infection clears. This is a common area that gets pet parents stuck all the time. In one of my previous videos on metronidazole and the impact on gut health, I showcase that dogs with acute diarrhea, the routine use of metronidazole does not improve the clinical course, but has a negative impact on the gut microbiome, while symbiotics, pre and probiotics together have similar clinical outcomes, meaning that they actually help improve diarrhea better, but they actually aid in the recovery of the microbiome. These changes, when we use drugs like metronidazole and the impact on the microbiome, were even seen three weeks after the end of treatment. 
Now, beneficial bacteria like lactobacillus and bifidobacterium also play a really essential role in maintaining gut health by aiding digestion, they produce short chain fatty acids, and they really help protect that gut lining. Antibiotics can wipe out all these beneficial microbes and they can allow opportunistic pathogens like Clostridium difficile or yeast, so candida, to overgrow. Studies show that antibiotic use can weaken the gut barrier, leading to intestinal permeability. We commonly refer to that as leaky gut. And this allows undigested food particles, toxins, and bacteria to enter the bloodstream, triggering inflammation and over-response of the immune system. This keeps your pet stuck with symptoms like diarrhea, acid reflux, and even allergies or itchy skin and ear infections. Other medications that might also be contributing to gut health inflammation over time include the overuse of acid blockers. These are things like famotidine, omiprazole. The long-term use can disrupt stomach acidity that's needed for proper digestion. And it can also allow harmful bacteria to thrive like helicobacter infections, and it can create nutritional deficiencies over time. Also non-steroidal. So these are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. They're commonly prescribed for pain. They have a place for quality of life, but we also need to understand that they can damage the gut lining and lead to ulcers or even leaky gut. And then the long-term use of flea and tick preventatives. Some of these oral preventatives can actually alter the gut flora over time, affecting the microbiome. Not to mention also that many are neurotoxins and they have been recalled by the FDA due to their toxic side effects that impact the liver, cause seizures, and even lead to death. We're gonna talk about a few easy things that you can do though to help support your pet's gut health if you need to use antibiotics or medication, so don't worry. And also to make sure you check out our other videos for natural flea and tick repellents and other natural remedies to help with pain and acid reflux. Now, the third factor that's contributing to a lot of gut health problems in our pets today are things like environmental and emotional stress. Our pets are exposed to a variety of environmental toxins daily, from pesticides in our yards, to cleaning chemicals in our homes, to even tap water contaminants. These substances might seem harmless because it's only a little bit, right? But research shows that they can have a profound impact on gut health, contributing to issues like leaky gut and even affecting the gut-brain access. Exposure to pesticides and cleaning chemicals and even emotional stress can weaken that gut barrier, making pets more susceptible to pathogens and opportunistic bacteria. Now, one of the most pervasive threats to gut health is glyphosate. This is the active ingredient in many herbicides like Roundup. Now, while glyphosate is marketed as safe, studies show over and over again that it can have serious repercussions for pets' gut health over time. Glyphosate can reduce beneficial gut bacteria, so those things like lactobacillus and bifidobacterium, while leaving harmful opportunistic microbes unaffected. This imbalance creates an environment prone to inflammation and poor digestion. Research also indicates that glyphosate contributes to leaky gut syndrome by disrupting those tight junctions between intestinal cells, and a compromised gut barrier allows those harmful substances from toxins to food particles to bacteria to leak into the bloodstream that leads to chronic inflammation and immune challenges. It's not just pesticides though. Household cleaning chemicals, air fresheners, even contaminated water can all contribute to gut health problems in pets. These toxins accumulate in the body, triggering inflammation that weakens gut function and other functions in the body over time. And let's talk about emotional stress. Things like changes in the routine or separation anxiety can also play a role. Now, stress triggers the release of cortisol, a hormone that can disrupt the gut microbiome and compromise immune function. Pets with chronic stress often develop digestive issues like diarrhea or vomiting, which show the profound connection between emotional well being and gut health. This is where a lot of dogs go boarding, they come back, they have diarrhea after. Usually, that's a stress response. So, another critical piece of this puzzle is the gut brain access. This is that two way communication network between the gut and the brain. And when environmental toxins or stress disrupt the gut microbiome, it can directly affect your pet's mood and behavior. 
beneficial gut bacteria are actually producing neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine, and a disrupted microbiome can actually lead to anxiety, hyperactivity, noise reactivity, or even lethargy in pets as their brain chemistry becomes imbalanced. Gut dysfunction caused by these toxins increases inflammation. This can send distress signals to the brain, amplifying stress responses, and it creates a vicious cycle. The good news, though, is you can take steps to minimize your pet's exposure to environmental toxins and support their gut health. And even though this can seem scary for many pet parents, this awareness is the game changer. Because when you become aware of these areas that can impact gut health, we can now make helpful changes or reduce and remove these triggers that are impacting a healthy gut for your pets. So let me share a quick story about one of my clients, Claudia, in our Blueprint program. Her dogs all Olive and Sophie actually both suffer from severe IBD and GI upset. After months of antibiotics, other medications, their condition wasn't improving. But after switching them to a less processed diet and using specific gut healing herbs, Claudia actually saw results in both of them in just two weeks, which is crazy. But this is the power of using a framework to heal the gut versus just trying everything and anything and hoping the next thing works. So once again, if you haven't watched our free gut health masterclass yet, make sure to check it out in the description to see the framework we are using to help heal all of in Sophie's gut health issues. So there's a link in the description to check it out. Now, let's talk about how you can start healing your pet's gut today. First, switching to a natural, anti-inflammatory, minimally processed diet. This is where I want you to focus on either raw, gently cooked, freeze-dried. These diets preserve nutrients, they eliminate harmful additives, and many of these types of foods have minimal synthetic vitamins and minerals too. Now, many pet parents will switch to a homemade diet, but they end up not balancing it properly for the long term, and this can lead to nutritional deficiencies and ultimately symptoms down the road. Now, there are many great resources to help balance diets if you want to do a homemade diet, from working with nutritionists to books by my colleagues, Dr. Judy Morgan and Dr. Karen Becker, to even using your own formulation software like Animal Diet Formulator. Now, we also have a free guide that has a lot of these resources in them and even some balanced recipes to help you get started, you can download that in the description below. And if you're not able to transition away from kibble, that's okay too. This is where using superfood toppers like blueberries, pomegranates, and even steamed vegetables like broccoli can be really helpful. Eggs and sardines are other great options that even cats can enjoy. And for more gut healing properties from fresh whole foods, using things like bone broth and goat's milk can also provide additional nutrients and soothing properties too. Next, so second, add digestive support. These are things like probiotics and enzymes. If you're feeling really worried about having used or having to use antibiotics, make sure to have helpful probiotics on hand. I love testing and not guessing, which is the strategy we use in our Blueprint program when I first start working with pets who are experiencing gut health issues. Now, Animal Biome and Innovative Pet Lab are two of my favorite gut health tests to start with because that gives us a better idea of where some of the imbalances might be in your pet's gut health. Now, after antibiotic treatment, supplementing with probiotics is critical to repopulating beneficial bacteria. Strains like Saccharomyces boulardii and even ones like Bacillus, which are spore-based probiotics, can specifically help mitigate post-antibiotic diarrhea and restore balance. Now, feeding minimally processed, high-quality diets can also provide those nutrients that are necessary for repairing the gut lining, reducing inflammation, and supporting microbial recovery. And if you need to feed kibble or more processed diets, Adding in digestive enzymes can make a huge difference to help support your pet's gut health and help improve the absorption of vitamins and minerals. And three, reducing those environmental toxins and supporting emotional health. We have to look at how do we avoid glyphosate and other pesticides. So make sure you're opting in for organic lawn care, avoiding using chemical herbicides and fertilizers where your pets play. Choose organic, minimally processed pet food to help reduce glyphosate residues in the diet that are really high in oats, wheat, and legumes. And then switch to non-toxic cleaning products. Start with one thing and make sure it's pet safe using natural cleaning solutions like just vinegar, baking soda. There's a lot of great 
essential oil-based cleaners to help reduce your pet's exposure to harmful chemicals. There are a lot of really safe brands also that help support health versus create more inflammation. And be aware of the stress side. We live in a stressful world. It doesn't mean that you should never experience stress or that you're harming your pet if you feel stress. But when we become aware of these foundations of health, then we can better support ourselves. That better supports our pets, which then better supports a healthy gut. So here's a few tips that are easy to incorporate. Try your best to create a stable environment with consistent routines to help minimize emotional stress. And then incorporate calming herbs like chamomile, valerian root if your pet exhibits anxiety. Using herb gardens that I've talked about in previous videos to help support cats is a really fun way to support their emotional health and allow them to self-select what their body needs. And one of my favorites, drink a cup of chamomile tea with your pet and add teas to their food, which is another easy, affordable way to help support their emotional health also. And I've done videos on all these topics in the past, so I recommend checking these out if these are newer areas of interest that you'd like to explore further. And feel free to drop a comment below of what you need help with so I can share those links to those videos that you need. Your pet's gut health is the foundation of their overall well-being, from their digestion and their immune system to their emotional resilience. So by understanding the hidden impacts of processed diets, overuse of medications, and environmental toxins and stress, you're taking a crucial step toward helping your pet thrive. The good news is, is that with the right tools, you can repair and restore their gut health naturally, setting them up for a longer, healthier, and happier life. And if you're ready to dive deeper, learn how to address your pet's gut health challenges holistically, make sure to watch our free gut health masterclass. In this free training, you'll learn more expert tips, proven strategies, and my step-by-step -step blueprint to help your pet heal from the inside out. And if you found this information helpful, make sure to like it, share it, spread it with other pet parents that might need this help and find it valuable. And make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can keep learning more about how to optimize your pet's gut health naturally. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.